she, she never uh, shies away from taking the ball and always getting in, working hard defensively. It's Weir now. A dangerous moment for Scotland. <gasps> Chats, oh! The crossbar has denied them. Penalty. And she's given a penalty kick and a yellow card for a handball, presumably against Dave Fahey. See here. So, Thomas shoots oh, and... Has hit her hand, hasn't it? It's so unfortunate. Well, that'll be a talking point, but it's now given Scotland the opportunity to open the scoring in the 13th minute. Caroline Weir against Courtney Brosnan. And the opportunity for the Scots. And Brosnan yes. saves! What a save, great a save. save. So the aberration is negated by superb goalkeeping. And Caroline Weir is denied. It's, it's quite the weapon to have in your armory, isn't it? Exactly, I was going to say, and why wouldn't we? Indeed, here she comes, Megan Campbell. Right into the danger zone. It's in. Oh, it's straight Did into it the touch. Did it get a touch? That's the question. No, it didn't. I thought I touched a Scottish player on the way through there. If it goes straight in the goal from a throw in, it is no goal. Fine, standing firm. Now it's O'Sullivan. And there's the run of Barrett. And Barrett's giving herself a chance here. Amber Barrett in on goal. Amber Barrett yes. makes the breakthrough. That was sheer brilliance from Amber Barrett. The first touch to take her clear was absolutely terrific. And Amber Barrett kneels in celebration in honour of the Donegal folk who passed away in the disaster in Chrysler. What a moment for the Donegal girl. It's brilliant from Amber Barrett. We spoke about her coming on and what's the team going to play into her, her strengths? I talk about her. She's a perfect example of running off the shoulder of the player. It's what she's good at. It's what she's done her whole career. And she's got that moment. It's a great ball through from Denise O'Sullivan. It's a brilliant, calm, com uh, composed finish. Absolutely brilliant for Amber Barrett. And I'm absolutely delighted for her as well because she's a player who's had to be patient at times throughout this campaign. She got her start against Georgia and again had to wait again. And here we come. Here she is coming on to score one of the most important goals in Irish women's fo football history. It's brilliant, brilliant from Amber Barrett. You can see the touch. She sets herself. Doesn't panic at any moment. It's a great first touch out of her feet. Looks where the keeper is, and it's a toe puck into the far corner. It's a brilliant composed finish from Amber Barry. Everything about that was perfect, and what an emotional moment for the Donegal. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of gamesmanship on Courtney's part, but nonetheless... I think she knows that she's doing all right. <laughs> Here is the free kick. We're in the 52nd minute of the second half. Brosnan takes it. That's it. Esther Stagley blows the whistle, and Ireland are going to the World Cup. What a night in Glasgow. The girls in green, in their away colours tonight, have hoisted the flag. The tricolour will fly in Australia and New Zealand next summer. This is sensational. History is made in Glasgow tonight as the Irish women claim their first ever finals appearance. And where better to do it than in the biggest tournament of them all, the World Cup. What a moment, George. I'm so happy for every person on that pitch, and not just the people on that pitch, but the people that have gone before them. There's been so much work put into Irish football over the last few years. Since I started playing, as you mentioned before, under Noel King, the likes of Sue Ronan, who came in as manager, no, or Colin Bell as well, who had a spell. So many of those managers have put the work in over the years. They deserve credit as well. And the players that have gone before us as well. So many of them players put so much effort in, but it's this group of players that have made that breakthrough and got us there. And I, I honestly can't believe, can't express in words how, how happy I am right now and almost it's emotional to be honest with you George I think to get this far and to see us get to a World Cup it's it's unbelievable it really is I'm so happy for everybody out there well said Stephanie it is a magnificent night for Ireland it is a magnificent night for Irish football and but particular for Irish women's football and let us not forget how it came about it came about 
off the back of a fourth consecutive clean sheet, which was achieved thanks to a magnificent penalty save from Courtney Brosnan. And it came about through a wonderful team performance where they all put their bodies in the line and delivered. And it came about because a young woman from Milford in County Donegal at this awful time for that county has lifted the spirits of the Irish nation with a goal that was a goal for the ages, a goal that was in its conception so perfect how she took the pass, created the space to run onto the ball and then finished it with such coolness. Amber Barrett has written history for Ireland and Ireland are in the World Cup and I can hardly believe I'm...